Hey guys, Christina C. Jones. I'm here today with my somewhat premature pre-release thoughts about um, behind the scenes. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I am so excited about this project. Um, I am done with it. Um, the reason I say that my pre that these are premature pre-release thoughts is because typically when I record this video. I would have already like have hit publish and I would already have gotten it back some editing and all these types of things that have not happened yet. I haven't even, I'm not even written a synopsis for this book, but I'm just, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's nervous energy or what. Um, I have not yet reached that point where I'm just completely confident and just completely sure that everybody is going to love this book the way that I love it. Um, I've gotten really great feedback on it from my betas, but that does not change the fact that I'm still, you know, I, I, I still got the nerves. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still just nervous because I just, I just love them so much. Um, this book is longer than anything I've written probably it's probably been two years since I've written something this long, maybe three. I'm going to have to look that up, but it's definitely been a while since I've spent this much time with a couple. Um, and I just, <laughs> I really, really love Pierre and Logan, just their journey that they go on separately and also the journey that they go on together. It's, oh my goodness. I, I just really hope that you guys love them like I love them. Um, I know I mentioned before how this book has a lot of cameos, um, and not none of them. You don't you don't need to read any of the books from those side characters in order to enjoy this one. This book is definitely a true standalone. But in the event that you do want to read those books, um, that list of projects <laughs> would be. Um, a Mutually Beneficial Arrangement, Inevitable Seductions, King of Hearts, uh, The Trouble With Love, yeah, The Trouble With Love, um, and The Truth, His Side, Her Side, and The Truth About Falling In Love. I think that's, yeah, I think that covers all of the cameos. Um, Spoiler alert, I actually did neglect one, Nick and Noah from Relationship Goals. Nick actually plays a pretty significant part in Behind the Scenes, and so I cannot believe that I neglected to mention him, but again, that is Nick and Noah from Relationship Goals. Some of those cameos are bigger than others. Again, you do not have to read all of those books in order to enjoy this. Just if you're one of those people who you're reading and you see, you know, this character or that character and you're like, oh, you know, I wonder what their story is. I wonder what book they're from. That's that's the list. <laughs> that's the list um, to cover everybody. Um, i trying to think of what else I need to say about this project. Um, it's not going to be available in KU, um, just like Reinvention of the Rose was not. Um, Reinvention of the Rose is available in KU right now, just as kind of like a trial basis type of thing, or not even a trial basis type of thing, just a limited time thing. It will come out of KU in December. I don't know that I'm going to do that with behind the scenes, and that's not just to like get you to buy it like for real. I don't know if I'm going to do that with behind the scenes, but it'll be available like um through it should be available through hoopla and overdrive which are the library systems i'm not sure about libby but it should be available through the library systems once it's you know once it's published and so you'll be able to like request it at your local library um and a lot of libraries are doing a whole lot better about stocking black romance and so that will be an option for you you know if if, if purchasing it's not something that you want to do or isn't an option for you you will have that avenue to to be able to read this book as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what else. This is actually my second time recording this video. Um, the first time I was doing it, I had Instagram Live up as well, um, but the camera kept cutting off on me. <laughs> the camera kept cutting off on me, and so um, instead of trying to piece things together, I decided to just re-record without, you know, without that going on. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the things that people asked me from from the live, uh, 
Pierre and Logan are in their early 30s, um, so they are not babies. <laughs> they're not they're, they're not the young 20s um, that is so often featured, um, centered in 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 a lot of these stories. I've noticed that as I get as a, as I get older, my characters tend to trend older as well. Um, this book does take place in Vegas, but um, we don't we actually do not see um, like Kingston and Asha or ace and Cree or any of the roses actually we do have some we do have some vegas cameos from other you know from other characters in the series but um none of you know none of those kind of big um those big name characters from the high stakes series but i really i wanted to do something i wanted to utilize vegas because i wanted this book to have a certain vibe and i'm trying to think i think that part of it was because of the professions and because of what they did I wanted to use I had already in a different project that already stated you know the implementation of the WAWG Vegas office and so or not office but <laughs> headquarters rather um WAWG you know it's my we all we got TV network and I wanted to utilize that and so that was another thing that kind of brought me over to Vegas for this project um Y'all know I, I'm, I'm always trying to do these without spoilers. I'm going to have to start doing post-release thoughts so that I can <laughs> so that I can say, hey, don't watch this until you've read this book. But I got some other stuff that I want to say because I never want to I never want to spoil the book, but I always feel so limited in what I can say. But I just I really hope that you guys like them the way that I, I hope you guys love them the way that I love them because they really um they really gave me a lot. They really gave me a lot. They gave me 102,000 words <laughs> worth of project, which, you know, like I said, it's been a very long time since I've had a couple give me so much. Um, and I'm just so into them. I'm so into them. I love them so much. Um, one of the things that I heard a lot from my betas for this project was about how emotional my hero is. And not necessarily in a weak way, but just that he's very... Um, He's very okay with being vulnerable and he's very okay with saying, you know, how he feels and expressing that to my heroine. And my heroine is such a like she's so she's so organized and she has such this just really big heart and she just wants to she really just wants to make things better for the people around her and for the people whose lives that she kind of touches and all of that. And it's just they have their little drama that I really did not want to write. Like it really broke my heart having to <laughs> having to do any type of drama or anything like that for them. But they they they, they overcome it and they they come together and it's just it's coming soon. It's coming soon. I don't have a release date yet. I, I, do, I do not have a release date yet. It is not like up on Amazon right now. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a pre-order. I'm thinking about doing a pre-order. We'll see. But in any case, that's all. <laughs> I'm gonna stop here before I, cause I can I can talk for a long time. But I'm gonna stop here. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be on the lookout for behind the scenes coming soon. Not yet, but soon. <laughs>